Hello, everyone. This is the Free American Press with your host, Alexander Horat. Today, I'm going to be talking about how the United States is planning on switching one murderer dictator for another when it comes to oil imports. But before I get into it, if you could please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. That'll be really appreciated. So we see that the United States is banning Russian imports of oil in response to its invasion of Ukraine. And basically, you know, they've been saying, oh, because Putin is a murdering dictator, you know, we're not going to take any oil from him, uh, while Biden, I think, is a dictator. But uh, at the same time, though, we see Biden now wants to change, and Biden moves on Venezuela. Uh, basically, what's happening is Biden is wanting to uh, take oil from Venezuela now, and it has, Venezuela is a country in South America, northern South America, which is fairly close to the United States, would, which would probably be able to ship oil to the United States fairly cheaply. And oil is cheaper in water in Venezuela. Uh, it's very cheap there. Uh, I think it's under a, a penny a gallon of oil over there for their people in Venezuela, which is really crazy compared to how much the United States pays. Uh, so basically, you know, now President Biden uh, is now wanting to switch from Russian oil to Venezuelan oil. Uh, and he has actually gotten rid of a lot of the Venezuelan sanctions as he put on the sanctions on Russia, which don't make any sense at all because Venezuela is supposed to be one of Russia's key allies in the region and um, doesn't make any sense at all because Maduro is a thief. You know, he stole money from millions of people uh, and Hugo Chavez did as well. His daughter is the richest woman in the world now, uh, basically because they stole the people of Venezuela's money through inflation. So it's crazy that, you know, the United States would change from one murdering dictator to another in their eyes. But I can kind of understand it because I think Joe Biden is a dictator and he's doing a lot of very nefarious things, to put it lightly. So I think this is more just, um, you know, basically political dealings, this war with Russia and, you know, getting stopping the oil imports from Russia into the United States is more of, you know, political theater because he's at the same time trying to get oil from Venezuela, which is crazy. As I've shown in another video, America is energy independent that we can actually produce a lot of oil by ourselves, you know, homegrown oil. We don't need all these other countries to produce oil for us. Uh, so that's really kind of my two cents. And now that's actually became a flashpoint in uh, Florida's elections, uh, basically because a lot of Venezuelans live in Florida and, uh, Basically, this is kind of a slap in the face for a lot of people, a lot of Latinos in Florida. Uh, so that's causing some problems for the dumber rats in Florida right now. But I don't think the Republican rats are much better, to be honest with you. I think both political parties are corrupt and it's time to uh, basically, you know, go no, no party or new party. It's time for freedom. In my opinion, it's time for people to, you know, start taking back our country, you know, on the local level. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing with my YouTube videos, I started a PayPal fundraiser called Support Alexander Horat. Uh, by donating, you are helping me continue and getting the word on how our freedoms are being taken away and how we can stop that. And I really thank you for your support if you do donate to that. And I really have a big thank you to uh, Carl Rice. Uh, I really appreciate you donating to me and Anonymous as well. And also Christine, I really appreciate that, Christine. And thanks again for everyone who is watching this video. I just hope you have a, all, all have a good day. God bless.